Yo ho ho everybody, my name is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today uh, I've got a camper that I think might make your day a little better or maybe some camping trips a little better. It is the 2022 Zinger 340BH and this thing is absolutely awesome. I'm a big fan of the Zinger uh, lineup. They're a little bit newer here at RV Nation out in Ohio. We've been carrying them for probably about maybe six months or so to a year, but they got a lot of really unique floor plans. This being one of them, it's got this awesome little closet up here, washer and dryer prep, which is pretty rare for a travel trailer. Uh, it's got this awesome outdoor kitchen here too, which I'll show you on the outside portion. But if you guys are in the market for an RV, you can find my, uh, my text line and my email down in the description. Also, if you want to see any specifications, things like awning size, weight, you know, all that good stuff that will be found down there too. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, you know, if you do. Maybe even say hi. But again, it's the 2022 Zinger 340BH. Take you on about 10, 10 15 minutes here, um, you know, inside, outside. Kind of show you, the, show you the ropes of the Zinger lineup. But I've had one heck of a day. I'm ready to do this video and head on out here. Rented out a block room at the YMCA for my daughter in two days from now. I cannot wait. She's just taking her first steps, but uh, I'm sorry. I'm going on a tangent. I'm just pumped. I'm hyped up, sold a bunch of campers, but right when you walk in, uh, you got this couch. This right here does pull out to make a bed, so you got tons of sleeping in this camper. You have these really nice, big, wide slides. that I'd consider this a super slide, and if it's not, it's at least a, uh, a splendid slide, I guess. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Got this nice little elbow kitchen set up. You got the... Um, what do you call those? Accent lighting there that you can turn on or off, which I think, you know, is pretty nice, especially at night. The bedroom is up there, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Nice electric fireplace. And trust me, I made the mistake before this video as I was prepping it, opening it, getting all the lights, making sure, you know, it was presentable. I actually turned that thing on. And the inside of this right now is probably about 100 again, 10 degrees, and I'm sweating like a... I don't know, something I can't say on YouTube, but I am sweating. Bathroom through this door. But let's go ahead, and since it's a bunkhouse, I'm going to go ahead and start in the back, work my way up to the front, and that's kind of the direction that I'm taking this thing. And uh, by the way, if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, you know, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to get your input. I'm making them for more views, more sales, you know, all that stuff to help you. So let me know what I can do differently. Right back here, you got this one big top bunk. It's I wouldn't call it quite a double bunk, as you can see but it is uh, pretty darn close. It's just in between a twin and a full. It's got a maximum capacity load of 300 pounds. So even a big boy with a belly like this could go in there. Started off dieting here, you know, a while ago at 320 smackaroonies. Now I'm down to 297. Unfortunately, I was at about 280 and I slammed way too many uh, beers and cheeseburgers and was shot right back up. But we set a wedding date, October 1st. So now I've got a reason, you know, to drop the weight. So every video, I'm going to try to post my weight here, you know, kind of weekly. So that way, if, uh, you know, if anybody follows me, you guys can kind of tag along with that. I'd like to think I'm least in your top three favorite RV salesmen, probably of all time. I think three is safe because you probably know at least two. Uh, right back here, you got this emergency exit window. So if something crazy happens... And you can't make it, you know, all the way out to the front right there. This is a mighty long camper. All you do is you pull and push. You can blow out that window and you're good to go. In normal times, obviously, you just got a really good view. You also got this little curtain that's held up by these little little ta uh, blah, 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 little snap buttons that you can get, uh, you know, get going right there. You also have some outlets, uh, you know, for your kids if they're you know, charging up some devices. And then on this side, you have a jackknife sofa here down at the bottom. This is kind of in the sleeper mode. This top bunk will actually raise up. So you, know, you put your hand right there, lift it up, and there's these two little you know, parts right there that you can snap down. But then you can use that as more as kind of like that hanging out, you know, movie theater vibe back here. Block out the parents, you know, and you're good to go. So that's good for both the kids and you. Also with these lights, you can toggle those on and off. But those are two USB ports as well. I'll tell you what, that fireplace is no joke, man. I'm sweating like crazy. Right here, you got the 4G LTE Wi-Fi. So this is an added-on thing. You can scan that little QR code. 
But basically, it's just like if you were getting one for like a mobile hotspot. So, you know, you call up AT&T, Verizon, whatever you do there, you know, you're good to go. You have Wi-Fi throughout the camper. This right here is going to be your bathroom. You got the corner shower. So, you know, if you're a big guy, you're probably, uh, you know, taping some sponges to the walls and doing some spins there. But it's really not too bad. I mean, you know, like I just said, you know, I'm six feet tall, about 300 pounds. I'm fitting in this you know, just fine. Uh, you know, the head height kind of helps. I'm, you know, I'm tall, taller, I guess, six foot, six foot one, but head kind of goes right into that level. There's still plenty of space, you know, just suitable for a camper for sure. You got yourself a sink with plenty of countertop space, a little bit more than the average camper, which is nice. Uh, you also have right there, some outlets underneath. You have some storage and some access to your plumbing right through here. And then above this big old super slide, you got more accent lighting, which I think is just neat. But you got an oversized U-shaped dinette, uh, so you can drop this down to make an additional bed if you need some extra sleeper space. And then underneath on both sides as well, you do get some storage. So it's just opened up, nothing too special there, but anywhere that you can sneak in, you know, just a little extra is a bonus. Both of these windows open up so that way you can get a really nice cross breeze in this camper. And you also have some more USB ports. So there's windows, pretty good windows, some great storage in this unit, but you also have you know plenty of outlets all over the place. You got a couple more right here, again with another window that you can open up. Three stovetop burner on top of your Greystone oven. So you can definitely fit a pizza in there and get some cooking going. You got three of these. Top two being this size. Bottom being a little bit bigger. You got your welcoming packets. So that's going to have some of your, you know, your remotes and things like that in there. Plus a couple of the, the warranties for like your microwave and all that. Good storage there up under the sink. And again, access to your plumbing right over there. I do like how they put a little bit more of a residential faucet on this. You got the stainless steel appliance right there with a little snake. So that way you can hit those dishes from all angles. Stainless steel double undermounted bowl as well. Use that as like a little cutting board. I do like how they made it the same color as the countertop. I think that's just pretty fancy. Pretty nice. Light. Fan. Suck out the stink of your morning cooking little microwave and then a nice 12 volt Norcold uh, refrigerator so if you're not familiar with the 12 volt uh, most people are these days but if you're not the days of gas and electric refrigerators are quickly going away and that's just due to the fact of safety and efficiency so you know this thing the freezer will actually keep you know stuff frozen as opposed to your classic gas and electric where if the sun's beating on that side it might keep it you know, kind of like with a buttery texture. You know, this will actually keep the ice cream, you know, just like ice cream. As we come along here, uh, we got a nice big space. You put a TV, I believe a 50 inch goes right there. You have the television mount bracket sticker right there. So they're even nice enough to put that little sticker. That way you're not blowing holes, you know, through your unit. So the rep tried telling me too that that's some kind of fancy design right there that kind of spits away the uh, the air condition. I don't know. Time will tell. Haven't been in one of these with the air conditioning on. Unfortunately, I've only turned on the fireplace that does have a setting that goes up to 100 degrees and that thing works so quickly. Uh, I'm a huge fan of that now, just not for the time that it is. You have this sound bar, which goes to A and B. That's going to be inside and outside. You also get a USB port and an auxiliary, an aux cord. Storage right there, and storage right here. Let's give you one more little spin here, and then I'm gonna, oh, I forgot to show you this. Well, I'll be darned. Little extra place for storage. And then one of my favorite parts about this camper is the bedroom because I think the storage is unbelievable in this. So one, when you come in here, 
it's got the uh, it's got the slide out, so it really opens up the room, gives you a lot of walking space. You're not cramped in here, you know, like you would on a lot of campers. You do have a little bit of walking space here on either side, uh, so that's always nice, at least enough to do the kind of old scoot. You have another emergency window right there. On both sides, you have a little shelf, so you know, like little reading nook type thing, you know, which I enjoy. And then also, you have the USB ports right there for charging your devices. You also got some storage there up above. Outlets right here, so that way you can get more plug-ins. But then this is where it really shines. You have this closet right up here, but you got this. I mean, check out the size of this right here. Whether or not you want a washer and dryer, why would you not like a big old closet? So you have plenty of room for your hanging space, for your hanging items. You have plenty of outlets. You have access to hot and cold water, so you can put a fully stackable washer and dryer, you know, in this. And most travel trailers just don't have the ability to put the stackable washer and dryer. So I'm very grateful that Zinger decide to, you know, put that in. But you also have this other front, you know, kind of front storage closet. You know, in plenty of space. So I just think this front bedroom is just awesome. It's killer for an RV. I've been selling campers for about 10 years, and I've always wondered why more of them don't have the washer and dryer. I'm assuming it comes down to something, you know, to do with the, uh, you know, the extra money for the plumbing. But they got another little sticker right here, television mount bracket. So that's a little hard backing right there. You also got, this is for your WineGuard Connect. Cable. Outlets. But then if all the closets weren't enough, you also have this little dresser right here. So you get three of these little pullouts. So pretty neat little floor plan. But that about wraps it up here for the, uh, you know, for the inside of this camper. Again, it's the 2022 Zinger 340BH. Now I'm going to just take a couple minutes, maybe three or four for the outside. And if you guys are digging this video, like my content, uh, if you guys could at this time, just hit that like and subscribe button for me. Love to love to have you guys stick around for another video, and I always welcome, um, you know, criticism. Uh, unless it's Dave, if Dave is watching, do not call me again. Very very weird individual. Comments on just about all my videos about how much I suck and I'm probably broke. That's what he called me and said. Little uh, little weird, little weird for sure. But anyone of else, I'd love to hear from you. Power stabilizing jacks. Retract extend just as easy as that you have your solid entry steps right here and these are pretty neat because they actually fold up into themselves you know as it goes up into the doorway a really nice size awning again the specifications will be down in the description for the length i'm going to guess probably about 18 20 feet this thing is a big boy back end here looks like the let's see here yeah the water heater Oh, come on. It's hard to do with one hand. It's the hardest part of my job. It's going to be where you fill up your potable water. You have some outlets. And then a cable hookup for an outdoor TV. If you want to put one out on a table right here, you'd be good to do so. You also have your low point drains there underneath. Two marine grade outside speakers. That's going to be that zone B. You also have an outside shower in this. So if you're running around... You know, acting all crazy at the campground. You got a couple kids that are running around like dirty birds. You know, you can spray them off right here. You got hot and cold water. You know, do with that as you will. You also have your black tank flush valve. If you're not familiar with that, you essentially just hook up a hose there. And it's a little sprinkler system there for your black tank. So it really helps you know, kind of flush out all the stuff that you don't want, you know, in there remaining. This right here is a very, very large outdoor kitchen. I absolutely love it. You got a propane hookup right there which you can put you know to your flame king your two burners or you can hook up you know traditional grill you also have plenty of um, you know kind of prepping space so like burgers buns or um, you know soy or whatever it is that you're into fish you know you're good to go you have outlets and another plug-in if you want to put a tv in here you also have this really large um, you know mini refrigerator and you have a sink that's actually attached into the plumbing so it's not just going to be one of those trays there, you know, that you just kind of fill up and dump as you go. I do like the fact that, that is plumbed in. That is a big perk. Then they snuck just a little bit of storage right in there and then some access again to your plumbing as well. Zinger's got it going on. 
haven't sold, haven't gotten into the groove too much for me to personally sell a ton of them, but it is definitely picking up steam. And I think you're going to see these things all over the country here soon. City water connection right in the back. And then of course you have your ladder going up to the top to your fully walkable roof. That way you can check out the maintenance, you know, on all of your seals. That does have a 250 pound capacity for the ladder. Right here, it is prepped for the Furion S Vision. Uh, I'll plug that there in the uh, the products section. If you hover over my video, you'll see products uh, right there. I'll do that and I'll put in, you know, kind of some basic items, things that I think are essential, like, um, you know, Camco, you got your freshwater hose, sewer hose, level locks, wheel, block, wheel chocks, water pressure regulator, AC adapter, treatment chemicals for your system, all that good stuff I will link there. And then also, you know, every slide right here is eligible for a slide topper. If you're not familiar with the slide topper, they go on the top right here and they really block out, you know, the sun or trees or anything of that nature. Here on this Riverstone Reserve, that is what a slide topper is right there. So that is protecting the slide from, you know, any type of sun or tree branches, you know, from getting in that seal and puncturing it and causing a water leak. So to do all three of those, you're looking at $2,100. You're looking at $700 uh, per um, installed. Pretty good little deal. Definitely helps out the longevity. Surprisingly, does pretty good with helping you with manage you know, the temperature. 50 amp service to handle both ACs. That's going to be where you plug it in. Underneath here, you're going to see you got the, tool ax the dual axles. That's going to be your dump valve right there. And then you got another one. It's going to be right over here. I'll show you in just a second. Then you got another one right there. So all on the same side, nice and easy. Little storage here. Since you got this big old front closet, you don't get that pass through storage, but they make up for it by adding it here on the slide. You might not get the pass through storage, but you do get some in here. So this is going to be where your go power control is. I know it's a little bit dark. Let's see is there. Yeah, there's not a light for whatever reason. But um, you have your go power, so that way you can, you know, use some of those things just on the solar panel. You can plug that in or have it roof mounted, whichever way that you choose. And then right here, you can actually see inverter prep. So if you want to put in an inverter, that way just off the sun, you can kind of run some of your, you know, your outlets and things like that. That is where you would do, you know, something like that. If you buy here, we're going to provide you with your propane will be full. We're going to give you a battery so you're all hooked up and ready to go. This camper also comes with a battery disconnect so when you're not using it. You know, you flip the switch, you're good to go. Power tongue jack. Most of us know what that is. Nothing too fancy there, but it is nice to have. Oh, they also have a three-year structural warranty, so that's always nice. You know, Forest River's only got one. Some key pro Keystone products only have two. Hopefully, you never need a structural warranty because that's really just on the frame, you know, and kind of the studding. These are all things that are pretty secure in a camper. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys stick around for next time. Uh, give me a ring if you guys are uh, in the market for a camper. That goes for everybody but Dave. But my name is Hunter. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. This was the 2022 Zinger. 340BH. See ya.